Hi, I'm Tenyo Lash Shubowale. Here's your Channel TV Evening News Recap for July the 29th, 2022. Governor Yen Somwike of River State has reacted to the events that have unfolded in the aftermath of the presidential primary election of the People's Democratic Party. Although he vowed to remain in the PDP, Governor Wike accused the presidential candidate of the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, of telling lies against him and using some party chieftains to spread falsehoods against his person. Same with politics, a servant senator of the All Progressives Congress has backed the move by his colleagues in the PDP to impeach President Muhammadu Buhari over the security challenges bedeviling the nation. Senator Elisha Abu, who represents Adamawa North Senatorial District in the upper chamber of the National Assembly, made his position known in an exclusive interview with Channel Television. And the Nigerian army has redeployed senior officers in a major reshuffle that affects some principal staff officers. This comes amid renewed attacks by terrorists and other armed non-state actors. The reshuffle also comes a day after military authorities said they have adopted a new strategy to tackle security threats in the country. On the international scene, China has signaled that it may miss its annual economic growth target as COVID restrictions weigh on the world's second largest economy. And in sports, Manchester City target Mark Cucurella has handed in a transfer request at Brighton. The Seagulls have already rejected one bid from City for the defender and are understood to be holding out for a £50 million fee for the former Barcelona player. And that's the Evening News Recap. Visit ChannelCV.com for details on these stories and more. I'm Tenny Olash Shaboale. Thanks for watching.